Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great today. So let's find out today guys all about you. What is beautiful about you? What makes you beautiful? Let's see guys, you can choose your pile, one, two, three as usual, which I will insert right now. And I'm going for pile number one. Hi pile one, if you chose this card with nine of pentacles, this reading is for you guys. If you want a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20 and I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you. You can check them out if you like in the description box. So let's see guys, let's find out today what makes you beautiful. So you chose this beautiful card over here, Nine of Pentacles, with this uh, beautiful lady. Okay guys, so I get here, some of you might be from uh, Eastern Europe. Or Asia, I get, yes. So I feel here, guys, that you have a very interesting set of uh, characteristics, uh, physical traits. I get, guys, that you might have, uh, you might be mixed race for some of you. You might have, for example, green eyes and darker skin color, which is very exotic, right? Just for some here. So what makes you beautiful? Is first of all your appearance, but I will also talk about the character and personality you are reading today. So here I see guys that you have very beautiful eyes. Your eyes are very luminous, I get, for a lot of you. It's like you have very deep eyes. And uh, people, a lot of people are very drawn to your eyes and uh, they are lost in your eyes. Maybe someone told you that, that they get lost in your eyes. I also get that you have, guys, very feminine traits on your face. Maybe you have full lips. Not all of you guys, but a lot of you, I get here. And your face is very symmetrical, which makes you very beautiful because uh, symmetry is a sign of beauty, right? Yes, you have also beautiful hands and nails. Maybe you paint your nails and people notice your nails, I get here. Maybe you guys also take care of your hair. Maybe it's very shiny, maybe do some curls and people notice that, so you appear very well uh, put together a lot of times, if not always. And I also noticed here this woman is wearing a lot of jewelry, perhaps you like to wear jewelry, which uh, you know adds also to your appearance and your style and your beauty. Some of you guys might wear some uh, very unique clothing here, I get that not a lot of people dare to wear. Maybe the colors, maybe the patterns, maybe the style is very unique here, I get. Also something very particular about your nose is coming through. Maybe some of you have a um, very distinct nose, but this makes you very beautiful and very unique. I also noticed, guy, that this woman has these uh, rings on her hand, right? So some of you guys I get might be married and uh, maybe guys you draw a lot of attention because of that, this fact alone. I don't know, this is a strange message but people find you even more attractive because you're married. <laughs> Interesting, right? Because you're not available, I guess that's why people find that attractive. And also I get a message here that uh, if you adorn yourself, if you dress well and you are married, people uh, think that you are very attractive, very beautiful and they think guys that uh, whoever has you is a very lucky man or woman. Okay, I will draw another cards. Let's find out a little bit more. What makes you beautiful guys? Let's see. Okay, pile one. So for you guys, I get a lot of uh, softness in your pile, a lot of femininity coming from you. And I also noticed here we have King of Cups and also we have Nine of Wands and we have here the Emperor and uh, the High Priestess and all of these ladies wear dresses, you see. 
So I feel guys that you wear a lot of dresses and you're very feminine looking. You like to wear dresses and not uh, just dresses but these are um, very unique I feel. Maybe you wear uh, clothes with a lot of patterns on I feel guys. But definitely your style here is uh, very noticeable. People notice you for sure. So first thing is the style here, your femininity, uh, your gentleness. I really feel guys that you portray yourself uh, as a lady here, you know what I mean? And I also get that for a lot of you, you might be a bit older or maybe the majority of the viewers are a bit older. Uh, it could be from 30 and up. I am around 35 so I'm not saying that you guys are old. I feel guys that uh, you are very emotionally mature here in this pile and uh, your energy is very intoxicating here. I feel guys that uh, you are very feminine and a lot of uh, people are drawn to your energy. So first of all let's take it step by step here. I feel guys that you dress very well. I feel that you smell very well. I don't know I got this message that you wear nice perfume. It's like guys you turn heads wherever you go. I'm not saying that this is a femme fatale um, you know, archetype here because we also have a high priestess. I don't feel like you have toxic traits. It's just that uh, you are intoxicating in a lot of ways I feel. So you guys are very feminine. It's like uh, your energy is very delicious here, very alluring. Not only to men, not only to the opposite sex, but in general. To all people around, even uh, children, notice you a lot of times, I feel. And they are drawn to your uh, motherly energy here. So you have this uh, softness and sweetness about you. So here we have uh, the Queen of Cups, this beautiful card. And this tells me, guys, that uh, you are very beautiful from the outside, but also inside. As I said in the beginning, uh, you might wear jewelry because I also see it in a lot of cards in this spread. And uh, you listen a lot, you're a very good listener. And you're very patient as well, I feel. Because here we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel, guys, that you're very patient. You guys are not aggressive. You're going to be very patient and uh, wait to see if what you have in front of you is real or not. If uh, what you have in front of you are facts or artifacts. So you guys are patient and you are very smart. You are very emotionally intelligent. So you are not going to get aggressive with people and snap at people, right? So you have this motherly energy I feel about you. Uh, you are going to listen to your partners, to your children if you have children, to your colleagues, right? And I feel, guys, that you're going to help them in the best way possible because here we have three of pentacles. We also have the six of pentacles. And the three of pentacles is a card of collaboration. You want to lend a helping hand to wherever it's needed, I feel. And I feel, guys, that a lot of people from your workplace uh, really count on you and they like you. They like your energy, they like that you're helpful. They like that you are uh, collaborative. And here, guys, we have Six of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles, I feel, guys, that you are very generous. You like to give a lot to people. To children, to your partners, in your workplace, in your community. And this makes you very beautiful. Because, of course, beauty is not only on the outside, but it's a general trait. Beauty infuses into our character also as well. So you love to give, you love to nurture, you're very nurturing here in this pile, I feel. And here with the hangman, I feel, guys, that uh, you're so feminine, so gentle, that you don't like drama. Uh, also, you love to daydream a lot. You love to make plans for the future. You also love to romanticize your life, I feel, for a lot of you. So you like your peace, you like peace of mind, and you try to make your life as easy as possible, as uh, peaceful as possible. So it's like here, guys, you're a peacemaker, you know. 
But uh, guys, you also have uh, a spicy streak to you as well, right? You're not only gentle and sweet and feminine and nurturing, but also I get here that because you're very emotionally mature and because you know yourself, you don't let people to, you know, step all over you. You have boundaries. And uh, there is this antithesis here with the High Priestess. So you have this gentle and soft side, but you also have your boundaries here. Which is very nice. And people sometimes, in the beginning when they meet you, they feel, guys, that uh, you might be weak. Or they feel like they could take advantage of you. Because you're so soft, right? And then they realize that uh, this is not the case here, right? Because, guys, here we have five of swords. And we also have here nine of wands. So what I feel here with this card is that uh, when needed, you impose your boundaries. I'm sorry, my voice is a bit raspy, I don't know why. So here, guys, with the five of swords, uh, you impose your boundaries. And also with the nine of wands, you might be guarded sometimes. And you don't accept all the BS from people. And uh, people get confused here, you see. So they have no option but to leave you alone. And uh, they cannot do whatever they want with you. And this confuses them. And they say, how come? I thought you were, uh, you know, an easy victim here. Or an easy prey or something like that. And they realize it. Either these are uh, co-workers, you know, that they try to step over your boundaries. Or these are romantic interests. And also I get uh, just message guy right now that some people feel, guys, that you're high maintenance here. Because you dress so well, you present yourself so uh, well to the world. And uh, when you want something, in romance, for example, in relationships, in dating, uh, because you have high standards, people sometimes uh, don't like it. Because they thought they would get something else. And then uh, when they see your standards, your high standards here, your non-negotiables, they just live away, you know, with a headache. Maybe some of these people, guys, have uh, ghosted you. I get this message, you know, in dating. Because they couldn't meet your standards and your needs over here. And they live puzzled. They say, how come? How come you have so many demands? How come, you know, uh, you have uh, these high standards? And also I get some women in your environment, also in your uh, workplace. They don't like this trait sometimes because they look at you and you look so good, right? And they also feel like you're high maintenance and um, this makes them feel a little bit less than, you know, a bit insecure here. So, the romantic interests feel like you guys are a bit selfish because you have so high standards. And this makes them angry, especially the men that cannot meet your standards here, of course. And they cannot help but uh, live because they cannot uh, satisfy you. Because, guys, uh, you know what you want, right? And you are high maintenance. A lot of uh, romantic interests feel like you have your guard up, that you're hard to satisfy here. And this uh, breaks their heart, you know, with the Three of Swords. So they feel like you're a heartbreaker here. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe these people are used to easy people that give themselves easily. And when they realize it's not the case with you, and of course they like you because you're so attractive here, they get heartbroken because they cannot give you what you want, right? They have no option but to leave if they can't give you that. So here I get another interesting message. We have uh, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And underneath the King of Cups we have uh, Six of Pentacles, right? So I feel that um, when men meet you, because you're so feminine here, guys, they want to give you, they want to gift you, they want to be generous with you, to give you stuff. The ones that, uh, you know, can, the ones that are financially stable at least. They want to give you everything, so you ignite this um, masculine side in people. 
protector and provider, right? Side in men. And that's really nice. So what makes you beautiful, guys, uh, is your femininity. But you do it in the right way because you also have standards here. And uh, you have boundaries because uh, you know yourself, you know your worth. And here we have confirmation with the Nine of Pentacles that you know your worth. You have high self-esteem. You know, guys, what you bring to the table. And here with this card, it tells me that you might also be financially secure. Because uh, here we have Knight of Pentacles. And we also have the Emperor. So maybe you guys are a business owner. Maybe you're very financially independent here. But if it's not financially, I feel that uh, you are in general independent as a person. You like your freedom. You like to work on yourself. You like to make yourself more beautiful. You like to shop, clothes. I get that you have a lot of clothes, a lot of colors in your uh, wardrobe. You might even wear hats over here. And with this bird, it tells me again that you guys are very beautiful. So your appearance here is striking. And I get some of you might wear boots with heels and this is very sexy to a lot of people. So the Nine of Pentacles is a person that is very free. You might uh, also be free in your own skin. You might also like to travel, guys. Uh, you are very confident also. But you're not arrogant. You have the gentleness about you. I get some of you might be redheads here with uh, green eyes. Something about green eyes comes up. So uh, another thing that makes you beautiful is, uh, guys, uh, you have a nice breast, I feel. And also you have beautiful uh, legs. And I also heard just now, you have a beautiful butt. <laughs> As I said before, guys, here with the judgment, you are a very self-aware person. You have worked on yourself. I feel that you guys are very mature in this pile. And if it's not about age, it's about emotional maturity here. And I also feel that some of you guys might be a feminist here. You might fight, advocate for women's rights or children's rights. I get that you have this side to you. This very generous side, volunteering side that you want to help people a lot in your community. Here guys with the High Priestess. Another thing that makes you beautiful is your mystery. Right, you're very mysterious. Uh, a lot of you might have the scorpionic energy about you. A lot of you guys might be a water sign here because we have Queen and King of Cups. We also have Aries here with the Emperor. And a lot of Pentacles. So some others of you guys might be an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? And the water sign is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the opposite sex here feel that you guys are juicy. I hear MILF for some of you. So men think that you are delicious here. <laughs> For sure. So you guys, what makes you beautiful is your appearance, your attitude, your controlled attitude because here we have the emperor. So you are feminine, very feminine here, but you're also controlled. And sometimes this throws people off, especially the men that I told you before that cannot meet your standards here. And this uh, makes them anxious and fearful. And uh, it brings up their insecurities here, you see. Because they understand that uh, they lose something valuable if they cannot give you what you want, guys. So I will draw some oracle cards now to find uh, out a little bit more. So here guys you got the witch in hour, it says favorable circumstances. So this card is equivalent to the nine of cups and the conventional tarot deck. And what it tells me here guys is that uh, you are a person who has everything, you are very fulfilled and also it's like you are a wish fulfillment for a lot of people. And in combination here with the nine of pentacles, it's like guys you are a prize here. A lot of people see that you are high value 
and of course uh, they admire that about you and uh, you're a very desirable person in combination with a high priestess so again here your uh, dressing style is very unique I get your makeup maybe you wear a nice eyeliner maybe you guys have a um, cat eye look I get for some maybe you have almond eyes because your eyes are uh, very noticeable and uh, this adds to your beauty also your hair I feel that uh, a lot of you guys are red yet because I have a lot of cards that tell me that here yeah. and here guys we have the fly ointment it says let loose and there is this witch and uh, she's naked over here I cannot show it but of course with this card uh, a lot of people notice your body I feel yes maybe you guys have a really nice body, trained body hard body I hear for some this makes you beautiful as well and also something about your hair comes up very unique hair you have maybe it's the color, maybe it's the style and this guys uh, is a card is equivalent to the three of cups and this tells me that uh, maybe you're fun loving maybe you guys uh, love to go with your friends out and maybe you're fun to be around maybe you're even funny for some of you maybe you love to be around people because uh, before we had also the three of pentacles right and here underneath you also have support and we have accept help and it says yin moon so this is about your feminine energy that I talked about before and with the support card this is um, very similar to the three of pentacles but also the six of pentacles so you guys um, love to give your support you guys love to be generous with people I feel like guys that you might help in some way in your community and this makes you very beautiful but also you accept help from others here you see this card you're not stubborn and uh, you have tapped into your femininity here your feminine energy you this beautiful energy of uh, you know receiving I get and here we have the witch hunter and it says beware the witch hunter so this guys is equivalent to 501 so this tells me here that uh, you're a bit dangerous because uh, you ignite the tension in men and competition in men and also men uh, don't like the fact as I told you before they feel like you lead them on because maybe you guys later on uh, you have um, very high standards and they cannot meet them as I told you and they feel bet betrayed here by you right and they feel um, angry they might even feel jealousy if you guys are taken because as I told you they look at you like a snack here like you have this delicious energy this delicious appearance and they would love to have a piece of you but they can't here you see and here we have self-regulation and also mystery so with the mystery this is similar to high priestess you have this uh, dark side a little bit to you in the sense that uh, you don't reveal everything maybe you don't know where you're coming from in the beginning and then when they realize these people are heartbroken and here we have self-regulation and also we have take the lead and these two cards remind me of the emperor that we had before so you're self-controlled right you don't like uh, drama guys I feel and you are a strong personality I would say strong character because you have boundaries here and standards perhaps you're not very loud as a personality but yes you're a very strong character and people realize that maybe later on not uh, immediately in the beginning and uh, this uh, gives them a lot of anxiety because they didn't know what they were getting into right <laughs> which is very interesting here and with the take the lead maybe you guys are a leader maybe you have a business as I told before with the emperor maybe you guys uh, have leadership qualities I feel like you guys a lot of people uh, like to follow what you do perhaps even you are even a style trender here you set trends with your style with your uh, look but also with your attitude I feel so it's like you're a role model 
to a lot of people in your community, they look up to you. So very beautiful reading guys, I really loved it. Um, this is all I had for you. If you liked it, if you enjoyed this reading, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hi pal 2, welcome guys. If you chose the Ace of Wands with this uh, amazingly beautiful lady, this reading is for you. If you guys want a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20 and I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you. You can check them out if you like in the description box and also in the comment section. So let's start. Let's see what about you guys and what makes you beautiful. So you chose here this uh, woman. Some of you guys might be a woman of color, but not necessarily. And I have one word for you here, for this file. You guys are uh, breathtaking. You guys here are very, very attractive. You guys are very sexy. You guys um, ignite passion in people. And I think uh, the first thing that comes through here is your sex appeal. What makes you beautiful is your sex appeal. I also get here some messages. Maybe you guys are a business owner because I get um, boss babe. Or it's just your attitude, you know. You portray yourself like a boss here, I feel. But you have some sassiness about you. <laughs> I get this uh, thing over here that you are sassy, you don't take BS, maybe you guys are a bit uh, strict with people. Also your skin here is popping, maybe you have a uh, very beautiful skin, glass skin, shiny skin, very healthy looking. So I feel guys that a lot of your health here, a lot of your trained you know, going to the gym and also I get that uh, you apply your makeup very beautifully like in a natural way which makes your traits to be accentuated, you know you know how to do your makeup, I feel to accentuate your traits, your lips, your eyes, everything but yes, you take uh, people's breath away guys here so what else, <laughs> what more can I say? This pile is a uh, firecracker here. Alright, let's see more. Let's find out more details about you and what makes you beautiful. Okay, pile two. So you guys here are the mischievous uh, pile. So I really love this energy that you have here. <laughs> All right, let's take it here from the beginning. So what makes you beautiful, guys? And how do men view you? How do people view you in general? Here, guys, uh, you give me the impression that you are larger than life. A lot of people have put you on a pedestal. A lot of people think, guys, that uh, you're higher than them. A lot of people think that they cannot measure up to you. A lot of men think, guys, that uh, they are not enough for you. Because you have this queen energy, you portray yourself as this uh, lady over here, as a queen. And uh, a lot of people are very intimidated by that, by that. Men and women included, a lot of people. So you guys here <laughs> uh, have a devilish side to you because here we have the devil and we also have page of wands. So the page of wands tells me guys that you're very excited about life. You love life, maybe you love travel. You like to examine things, you like to learn things, you guys want to explore life, right? And you might have uh, even an innocent side to you like you have a lot of curiosity for things you're very playful perhaps but here you're also the devil so you have this uh, sexy side to you right devilish side to you mischievous side to you because here you also have seven of swords and we also have queen of wands over here and this lady you see 
how she's smiling with a cheeky smile on her face, right? So you guys are definitely not innocent. Maybe you play the innocent card sometimes. Maybe you let yourself to, you know, to be your authentic self with your friends. Maybe you let your innocent side to be seen by your friends. But when you're around men, I feel like you don't do that. When you're around men, you're more mysterious, you're more sexy, you know. So you have this siren type of look to you, of attraction to you. And we also have here, guys, Death card and the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands confirmation. First card that you got. So you have two Aces here, two Ace of Wands. So as I told you, again, confirmation that you're a firecracker here. Maybe some of you are a bombshell, maybe you're very sexy. You have a lot of sexual energies in you. And uh, people can feel that, right? Both men, especially men, I would say. But also women. And uh, you're a bit intimidating, as I said. We have here the Death card, and we also have Six of Wands, and we also have the Star. So you guys, uh, wherever you go, you draw attention, a lot of attention on you with the Six of Wands. You might be uh, very beautiful, very sensual, very sexy. I get that you guys take care of yourself and you portray yourself in a very good light, right? You know how to dress, you know how to apply your makeup, you know everything, you know how to walk in a sexy way. So you have mastered, I hear, the art of seduction and uh, the art of charming people. For some of you this is natural, for others of you, you might have worked on it a little bit. But whatever you're doing, it's working. And uh, you draw a lot of attention from men, but also from women, I get. And uh, you're a bit intimidating because here we have the star. So people look at you guys, uh, it's like you're a star here, you have the star quality. It's like you're uh, higher than them in some way. I would say that you're a bit threatening as well to women if you're a woman or to men if you're a man. Because we also have five of cups. And people guys feel insecure in your presence with the five of cups. They feel intimidated, they feel lesser than. They feel guys, uh, some of them, that you could potentially steal their partners, right? So they are threatened a lot about you. And uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, other people, other women, are looking up to you. They're trying to, to copy your style, they're trying to copy your uh, makeup, or even the way that you speak, that you talk, that you carry yourself, you know. So that's very interesting here, very interesting message. Because they feel, guys, that you are very successful. The Ten of Pentacles over here, that you are very high value and they are trying to imitate you. Because they want to have what you have. And because you have so many men drooling over you, literally drooling when they see you, these women want to have what you have. So it's like uh, they want to have the beauty, they want to have your charm, they want to have your appearance, they want to have your lifestyle, your style, everything about you. Even uh, children, if you have children. It's like you're a role model here for women and the prize for men, you see. So men want you and women want to be like you. This is you guys here. Pile number two, you nailed it. <laughs> yes, guys, so um, what else do I get? Maybe you also are very recognized in society. Maybe you're successful also with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you are indeed a boss. Maybe you are a boss lady here. Maybe you have put a lot of effort into who you are. Everything about you to become a high value woman or man. To be this person that is respected in society, right? So I get here a lot of you might be a boss. Uh, you are very respected in society. You are seen. You are recognized. And also a lot of men. Notice, are noticing you and they want to get to you somehow and a lot of them can't because here we have five of cups 
And these men that they can't, they feel disappointed and they feel, uh, you know, sad that uh, they can't get to you. Because here, you guys, you are the star. They want to have a piece of you, as I told you. But it seems like you are looking up and here you are looking down. You are not interested to get to know all of these people. And that's normal, right? So with the death card, again, I feel that you guys might have this scorpionic energy about you. Uh, yes, death is a card of Scorpio. And uh, although you have this mysterious alluring energies about you, you are a siren here, right? You also guys uh, might be goofy, you might be playful, you might be childlike in your private life, right? So you have a kind of duality here which uh, makes you very interesting. But not a lot of people know this other side to you, this more innocent side to you. Okay, so what else here? So here with these uh, aces, ace of once, twice, ace of cups, you guys are very sexy. As I told you, you have a beautiful face. Your eyes are popping, you wear jewelry, you know how to dress to adorn yourself. I also see this jewelry over here. Definitely your appearance is very beautiful, how you look. I also get here, guys, you might have a stricter look to you for some. So maybe you're not smiling that much. Maybe you have this um, darker type of seduction, right? Like a Scorpio here. I'm not saying that you're Scorpio because I also see other signs. So you might be also Libra here with the Justice or Aquarius, or you could be Capricorn with the Devil card. You might as well be a fire sign with all of these aces. Ace of Wands, we also have Queen of Wands. So you might be Aries Leo Sagittarius for some of you guys. But uh, you have this uh, mysterious alluring energy about you for sure with the uh, star and uh, the death card here. With all of these aces you definitely guys uh, are a person that uh, are arousing people. So they have a part in their pants. <laughs> Every time they see you and I get some uh, 18 plus messages here. Some kinky messages for you. A lot of people are uh, pleasuring themselves this one to this water that comes out so after seeing you a lot of people are doing stuff to themselves wink wink and especially here with the devil they feel a lot of sexual energy towards you and uh, they cannot help it but to release this uh, sexual energy that they have right also with the ace of cups you guys have this um, energy, lovely energy about you. You are very delicious. The people feel this delicious energy in your presence. It's like uh, you're intoxicating here, you see. And a lot of people have crushed on you with the Ace of Cups. And also the Ace of Cups tells me that a lot of you are fertile. Perhaps, guys, some of you might be pregnant here. Because here in this card we have seven of pentacles with this pregnant lady. Definitely you are fertile though. Maybe you have an hourglass figure. And this case makes you very appealing, right? Very attractive. Also here we guys have Ace of Cups and the Star. So you have this uh, healing energy about you. As I told you, your energy is intoxicating and people cannot uh, get over it. People cannot leave you easily, they want to stay in your company for as long as possible here because they really love to be in your company, your presence so as I told you before a lot of men feel um, inadequate and uh, not enough for you and here we have Ace of Cups clarified with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords is being trapped in your own uh, thoughts and your own limitations here these are thoughts of insecurity that people have around you they are trapped by their own thoughts. Perhaps uh, some of these people are enough for you, but they think that they are not. Because you have the star quality. With the star, they put you on this pedestal. High up on this pedestal and they are very reluctant to come towards you, you see. Because here we have two of pentacles clarified with the queen of wands. And with the Two of Pentacles, it's like you guys might have a lot of options. You might even not have time for a date and for romance because you're juggling a lot. Maybe you're a boss, maybe you're working on your 
finance is your business here on yourself even so you might not be available all the time and people feel like you have a lot of options here yes a lot of options uh, you're passionate here with the page of wands you are very sexy with the devil you have options here with the six of wands and people feel like um, they don't even want to try you know to come towards you because they feel that they would be rejected here so here we have seven of swords and uh, in this case for you guys the seven of swords tells me that you put yourself first you guys prefer to work on your goals and your business and your finances and then to give attention to all of these people that want your attention and because of that here we have confirmation with the seven of pentacles that you invest in yourself, you invest in uh, making your life more beautiful in your work, you know, you're working hard you know that your hard work will pay off but because you're not available because of that people think here that you might be a bit sneaky that you might play games, you know but it's, uh, the thing here is that I don't believe that, that you're playing games it's just that you really don't have time for all of these people, right? And again here I see seven of wands and this card is card of competition. So people are competing over you because of the ten of pentacles guys. Uh, you're all that. You're the prize here. And everything wants to get a piece of you, to be around you, to get experience that you give them. Because you have the star quality, right? Also I told you before that you might appear a bit strict. Maybe you guys don't smile that much. And here we have the justice, this card. And uh, with this card, people perceive you as intimidating again. That you don't take PS, that you mind your own business here. That you work on yourself and you don't have time for nonsense, you know. That you're very smart. You're very wise and you know what's up, you know what's going on. And you're not going to let anybody play with you. Because you are the one that sets the rules in your own game, right? So that's very nice. And uh, yeah, this is confirmation of your uh, boundaries here. If you guys are not strict, it might be that people perceive you as that because you're so busy over here. And they think that you might uh, be a bit snobbish or maybe you think very highly of yourself. And of course you should think highly of yourself. What should you think? Love yourself, no? <laughs> that's not what I believe in course you should uh, believe how yourself but people that cannot reach your level might get intimidated you see and also get some gossiping with this devil card over here all right very interesting let's see guys i'll get some uh, oracle cards now to find out a little bit more about you Okay guys, so as I said before here with the focus, you're very focused on your stuff, right? And also underneath we have this card, it says avoid drama. Definitely you don't like drama, you're focusing yourself and on yourself, improving your life and you don't take part in this nonsense as I said before. And this makes you very appealing, very beautiful, because uh, you focus on your own energy. And don't waste your time and energy on the situations or people that don't deserve it. Here we have releasing. So with the releasing, I feel uh, this pertains to the Five of Cups over here. And it tells me, guys, that uh, you release whatever doesn't serve you. Because again, you don't have uh, time for a drama over here. Maybe you guys are very busy in your life. Maybe you're very busy in working on your goals here, in your business, whatever you're working on. It even uh, could be studies over here. But yes, you don't have time for drama. And that's very appealing. So here we have Enchanted. People uh, definitely feel like you enchant them. Like you have put a spell on them. You have this um, unexplainable energy that they feel around you. And I told you before that these uh, people are intoxicated by you. And they cannot let go of you. 
once they meet you, right? And here we also have let loose with the fly ointment with this witch fly, right? So some of these people might think that you have put a spell on them because of that. Because they cannot forget you here, you see. We have patience. So this is very similar to the seven of pentacles that we had before. And uh, you put a lot of effort in your work, in yourself. You have patience and uh, you're focusing on that. On things that are, uh, you know, that matter to you. And here we have transformation. So as you know, perhaps transformation is uh, very similar to the death card, which is speaking about transformation, of course. So again, it's about your scorpionic energies and the fact, guys, that you focus on yourself, you see. You're very powerful here. And also you have this uh, dark side to you, this devilish side to you. And here we have confirmation, we have the danger card. The witch hunter danger. So with the danger, this is about the uh, intimidation that people feel, but it's also about the competition that men feel, uh, you know, for you because uh, this card is equivalent to the five of wands in the tarot deck. So definitely people feel like uh, they have competition over you, that there are a lot of uh, love suitors that you have, romantic suitors, right? And you have this sense of danger to you. Yes, again, like the scorpionic energy here, which is very intoxicating. We have poison, thorn, low vibrations, and this tells me that uh, all of these people are very drawn to you sexually here, with their lower chakras, and you are intoxicating. Again, you see, you have poison. So I don't know what you do, guys. I think it's everything about you, your appearance, your attitude, and I just got a message from some of these people I think of you as a bit bitchy, that you have bitchy attitude. At the same time, they love it and they cannot get over it, you know. Because it makes them think and think and rethink about you. So that's the thing here. So they are hooked on you. They are sexually drawn to you. And they cannot get over you. If you have some exes, they might still be thinking about you and be heartbroken by you. Here we have back to basics, elements. So this card, guys, with the elements, it tells me that uh, you have everything to you. You have a lot of uh, things to you that are attractive. There are a lot of people in this pile, I feel. You might be a redhead, you might be a brunette. Uh, you might have even silver hair for some of you, maybe you're older. But whatever you are, whatever your appearance here, your uh, traits are very attractive on your face, your skin color as well, your skin, but your eyes here, you see your eyes are popping and you have very beautiful uh, beauty traits, right? Even the way that you look, it's very magnetic, very magnetizing and it's like you enchant people by your look, you see they're mesmerized by your eyes here. We have Witch of the Woods, we have Retreat. And this card tells me, guys, it's very similar to the Hermit card. Sometimes you might be feeling um, that you want to retreat from your surroundings, that you want to be by your own, you want to replenish your energies. Maybe, as I told you, work on yourself, you have a lot of stuff to do, and people might perceive you that you, uh, you might be a loner or you might... I need a lot of uh, a lot of time for yourself, and some others might feel like uh, you're a bit snobbish, and you are uh, hard to get, you know, because as I told before, you're not uh, available all the time here. I feel. All right, pal two, very nice. So what makes you beautiful is your appearance, your energy, your style, your makeup, your skin, your sexiness, your danger. So I would say everything about you, your star quality, your unavailability, your eyes, your uh, hair, your bitchy side as well. <laughs> uh, some people might perceive that you're a bit toxic, that you're a bit uh, sneaky. And I feel, guys, that you don't play games, you just are very busy here. You mind your own business, you work on your own, become your best version, right? And that's really nice. So that's all I had for you, pal too. If you like this reading, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hi pal 3, welcome guys. If you chose the Queen of Swords, this reading is for you. If you guys want a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you. You can check them out if you like in the description box and also in the comment section. So let's see what about you guys. What makes you beautiful and how do men view you? So you chose the Queen of Swords and as you perhaps know, the Queen of Swords is a person that doesn't take any BS, that's very smart, very astute, very wise. What makes you beautiful are your standards, are the fact that you're very smart, that you don't take no BS and also I feel guys with this image that you're very beautiful, your face right is popping here, your eyes as well. Your hair do maybe you do your hair very nicely and uh, this is very unique how you dress as well on your hair here I feel. Maybe you have a quirky style for just for some of you guys I get this message and the rest of you you might dress very femininely, very you know wearing uh, pastel clothes, pastel colors, um, pink colors, you know feminine colors. I also see these leggings over here, they are a bit uh, colorful and unique, so I get your style might be something that uh, is very different from other people. And your makeup, people love your makeup, men notice your makeup. Yes, yeah, some of you guys might be blonde with blue eyes, not necessarily, just for some. So let's see now what the cards will show for you. Let's find out what makes you beautiful, guys, and uh, how do men view you? Let's see. Okay, pile three. So, as far as uh, zodiac signs go, uh, you could be an air sign here with the Queen of uh, Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could be guys Virgo, we have here the Hermit card and uh, we also have the Sun, some of you could be a Leo, yes, that's what I get here for Zodiac signs. So let's see, first of all what makes you beautiful, you are indeed very beautiful here with the Empress. So as you know perhaps guys this um, card, the Empress, is emblem of beauty here of love as well, of femininity, of nurturance, of motherly energy. Some of you guys might be a mom here, you might have kids, but nevertheless, even if you have kids, I feel that you know how to beautify yourself and you are not going to go out in public at least without putting effort into your appearance and feeling your best and looking your best, I feel. So what makes you beautiful is that you put a lot of effort into how you look. You see, this woman, I told you before that uh, she has very nice makeup and also the hair do you. You might uh, wear your hair in a bun. Here we also have a bun. And also here some space buns and also here space buns, right? Yes, definitely guys, I feel something with your hair here. I also got a message, your eyebrows are very beautiful. Uh, how you do your eyebrows, uh, you know, they make your face look more symmetrical, your face frame. Also your hands, I feel, are very delicate here, how you move your hands. And your skin, maybe you guys are a woman of color here, some of you. Uh, I get here a message that some of you might look like Beyonce, because this reminds me of her. You might have even some uh, star quality about you here. But you definitely appeal to people, to a lot of people here. You see these uh, butterflies are drawn to this woman. So, first of all, people are drawn to your beauty, right? But also, because of these flowers and butterflies, I feel guys that you might have a very nice scent, nice perfume that you wear. I get a lot of you guys are in your 30s in this pile. I also get guys with these pomegranates. These are symbol of fertility and I feel guys that a lot of you, uh, you have this uh, sex appeal to you, this motherly sex appeal. I know it doesn't sound right, 
but what I mean is that you have this uh, delicious nurturing uh, energy about you, you know what I mean? And here we have also four of wands. Underneath we have the king of pentacles. So definitely people feel that you are a stable person, you are a person for stability, you are a person for family, you are seen as a mother figure, as a very good uh, partner. And men see you as wife material here, definitely. Wife material because you have empress and four of wands. And uh, yeah, definitely here guys, um, men especially, see your value. And they feel guys that you would be a very good mother to their children, very good wife. And also that you're a homebody because here you have empress four of wands. Underneath we have hermit card and the king of pentacles so this tells me that they believe that you would be the perfect um, wife stay at home wife for some of you guys I hear a trophy wife for others of you but definitely they feel like you're a person um, for home you know what I mean person for stability a person to build a home with you're not a party animal here that's what I mean so they feel um, safe on the one hand, they feel like uh, you could provide them safety in your relationship, that you would be <clears throat> a very good partner, very good hostess, potentially very good cook, I hear for some of you guys, that you're very nurturing, you're very warm, despite that we have here the Queen of Swords, they feel guys, the people that know you a little bit more, that you are warm and you can provide them this uh, homely life the safety right so yes you are warm you're the king or the queen of pentacles over here you have this warm energies about you this homely energies but sometimes people that don't know you might perceive you as a bit cold that you're not interested in them that you're uh, self-absorbed just for some here and here we have the sun so with the sun guys i feel that you as i told you before don't go out if you don't feel your best so you put a lot of effort in how you present yourself to the world and also you're trying to make your life beautiful with this card with the colors you wear or with your attitude towards life you're trying to be optimistic also people feel like you're successful here with the sun but definitely you give the vibes that you're a wife material here and i also got a message that you wear nice shoes with heels a lot of you some of you guys as i told you before might be a woman of color here and uh, what makes you beautiful is also your body maybe a lot of you are curvy even trained if you're not curvy the way that your body is is very appealing to men to the opposite gender here with the judgment card over here i feel guys that you self-reflect a lot you are very wise maybe you have a lot of life experience and what you have realized is that you want to portray yourself in the best way possible to the world with the sun and also you want to have a positive attitude towards life and that's how people view you and you're not quick to speak over here. You need some time to process in order not to offend people again. We also have here Six of Pentacles. Underneath we have Nine of Wands. So the Six of Pentacles is speaking about being very giving, very generous. Underneath, guys, we have Nine of Wands. So what that tells me is that you're not quick to be, you know, giving to all people around you. You are going to observe first and see who is worth of it. So I feel that uh, you might be a bit guarded sometimes. Well, that's how people view you. That's how men view you. That uh, you're not going to be quick to nurture immediately whoever comes your way. Because uh, here guys with the sun and the empress you have options. A lot of people see you as wife material here. And they know that uh, they cannot play with you here with the Queen of Swords. So the message I'm getting here, guys, is that you're not a pick-me. You know your worth with the Judgment card and the Sun. You know what you deserve with the Empress. You deserve everything best. You deserve a house. You deserve kids. You deserve everything good. 
and that's why because uh, you emanate this energy to people they feel like uh, yeah they cannot play you they cannot outsmart you you're very smart with the queen of swords and that's why you have three of swords and the two of cups so first maybe they have the impression that uh, they could play you then they realize they can't because you're too smart for that but a lot of people are drawn to you and uh, these people see your value guys you're a queen here you are the empress and you're not going to take anything less because with the seven of cups you definitely know your worth here so you guys want the house you want the money you want love you want success to be respected here right and people should come correct to you and they know it that people like about you and I also see some freckles on these people so maybe you guys have some freckles which are very cute so I will draw some oracle cards now for you to see a little bit more let's find out all right guys so here we have the truth and uh, of course the queen of swords is all about truth about uh, speaking her truth and not hesitating even if it hurts some people so that's uh, how men view you and uh, here you prefer to do nothing it says do nothing so you're not going to run after people and people respect that especially men here we have shadow work so again you might have integrated your shadow side uh, guys with the queen of swords you have boundaries and you don't hesitate to tell people uh, what your standards and what you deserve and here we have celebration and this card you see there is a ceremony of a couple so to me it's saying about engagement and marriage definitely like the four of wands you are a wife material here and men see you as that we also have here the salt with boundaries so this is very similar to the truth card and the queen of swords the queen of swords is all about uh, imposing her boundaries right so that's that and this sometimes guys might hurt people with the three of swords and they back off eventually but it is what it is because you know what you deserve and uh, here I really feel that with the initiation you have a sacred test because you know what you deserve you put people to the test right as I said before as well so you're going to wait for someone that is deserving of you because you know what you bring to the table and what you bring to the table is everything as I said before guys with the king of pentacles you're a person for stability you're a person that would be the perfect uh, wife that would provide safety and security to your children in the future and also to your partner and here we have soul family so it's all about family that you're a family person and also I see these beautiful people over here so I get a lot of you might be from different uh, racial backgrounds uh, the people that are listening to this pile right you might be Asian, you might be Caucasian, you might be black guys for some of you so yes we have here again a woman of color and also this card over here is the nine of uh, wands in the conventional tarot and we got before the nine of wands right over here confirmation so this card is speaking about uh, risking it all in order to have what you want so again it's about knowing your worth here again we have familiar with deep bonds so you guys are a family person person for a family here and here we have witching herbs with nourishment so again you're a person that can nourish anybody you are a homebody you're a person that can provide stability so yes men see your work guys they see you as wife material girlfriend material for sure they see you as a person for home and not a person to play with so very interesting pile if you resonate with these messages guys you can give me a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye